What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some unlocks that will be available in the Halo Infinite campaign when it releases later today. And these items actually can be used across all modes. I know a lot of people were thinking, and there's a lot of rumors going around, there would actually be no unlocks from the campaign that would carry over to multiplayer, but that is not the case. In the campaign, there will be some armor lockers in Halo Infinite. Now these lockers will be scattered across all all of the different places that you're going to travel to and there's 34 of them total now of course nobody really knows where they're located just yet and if i come across any in game of course i will make a video kind of giving you guys the location so you can find them for yourself but each of these have cosmetic rewards that can't be earned anywhere else in the game from vehicle and weapon coatings to player emblems uh, there's all kinds of things within this and like i said of course we're not quite sure where any of these are at yet i was hoping you know we might get a little bit of info. Of course, games get data mined and things like that. People find stuff early, but 343 has kind of kept a, a tight lid on this, so we're really not sure exactly where these are going to be located. So make sure that you're finding these armor lockers kind of as you go along in the game. Like I said, you're getting things like uh, armor coatings for different vehicles, for different weapons, things like the Warthog. You know, you're getting things for like the M8008 Scorpion vehicle uh, skin. You're getting things for the Mongoose, uh, the Razorback, the Assault Rifle, the Battle Rifle, the Commando. So there's kind of a, a, a lot of different things you can get here. You also can get different weapon charms. Uh, we can get armor unlocks for different armor coatings. Uh, not sure if all of these are going to be, you know, just particularly for a certain type of armor. They haven't gone into a lot of great detail. I think they're trying to leave a little bit of mystery here for people to find things. Uh, there's also a legendary armor locker reward, and there's two of those available in games. So there's two legendary ones as well, which will give you the Blood Shadow armor coating and the Olympic uh, stance. So those are two things you'll be able to use in multiplayer as well. This kind of makes me wonder if there's other hidden things that 343 has put in the game. You know, a lot of companies like to you know, come out with these kind of big campaign style games. We know that Halo Infinite is going to have a more open world style compared to other uh, campaigns before. Of course, it's still going to have that kind of story arc, but it's going to give you a little bit more of a choice of where you want to go and exactly what you want to do while you're playing. So it's not just a set course. And that makes me wonder if there's some hidden items inside this campaign as well that nobody really knows about yet. I know a lot of companies like doing that, like having these hidden things for the community to find along the way. And it kind of gives the community something extra to do besides just playing the story itself. But having these 34 lockers spread across the world is going to be something I think a lot of the community is going to be trying to find uh, just, you know, through their uh, campaign playthrough. And the really great thing about this is it kind of gives you some more, I guess, you know, content to do while playing the campaign. You know, a lot of people are kind of worry, you know, they're going to speed through it too fast. You know, if you want to take your time and actually look for these lockers, it's going to give you things that you can unlock and also use in multiplayer. And also it's going to be kind of that sense of achievement of finding them. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think this will be the only kind of things we have in the campaign or do you think there's some hidden things 343 has not mentioned just yet and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well and i'll catch you all next time peace